Have you ever wondered what factors are considered when designing beams for bridges or other engineering structures? If so, you've come to the right place. I'm Dr. Wayne Whiteman from Georgia Tech in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the third in a series of four courses that look at the topic of mechanics materials and engineering, or what's also commonly referred to as deformable bodies or strength of materials. To be successful in this course, you will need to have completed the first course in this series entitled Mechanics of Materials, Part 1. We often think of beams in their traditional use in buildings or bridges or other large structures. But smaller structures can also include beam elements. Some examples might be mechanical machine frames or vehicles. In this course, we'll start with these engineering structures that contain beam elements and we will model their behavior subjected to flexural or bending and transverse loads. These loads will generate internal forces and moments that can create stresses and strains as we discussed in the Mechanics and Materials Part 1 course. By using this procedure, we will be able to determine the overall structural performance. Beam elements are all around us. The videos you have seen and are seeing show several examples of real-world applications that contain beams that ensure structural integrity. As in my previous courses, I hope that this course will inspire you to look at the world around you and better understand how engineering plays an important role in everyday life.